My name is Varun Jain. I'm the founder of Brighter Prep. I welcome you all and thank you all for joining us today for this very interesting session about computer science. Uh, where can I study computer science? So with COVID-19, we are actually witnessing an awakening new era. Things are moving. I think I have become a lot more tech savvy in past seven, eight weeks than I was ever before. Uh, and I guess uh, technology is everywhere. It's around us, wherever I look at, there is technology, there is usage of computer science, which is making my life, which is making the life of common people easier and easier day by day. So in today's session, uh, we're gonna cover, where can I study computer science? What happens after I study computer science? Do I have to sit down and code and program all the time? Or can I do something else as well? How I see is that as accounting and finance are an indispensable part of almost all the industries these days, they are not industry bound. They can actually allow you to make career across multiple industries. Same way computer science in today's world is required by almost all the industries. You can actually complete your computer science and go and work in a fast moving consumer goods industry. You can be an investment banker. You can be an analyst in private equity company. You can work with, with a microfinance firm or you can be an entrepreneur or you can go and do any IOT related job Internet of Things, which is a big thing these days, in oil and gas. All the capital intensive industries today, from infrastructure development, construction, real estate development, to oil and gas, to manufacturing, they need computer science. And I won't be afraid of using the word badly. Everyone needs that. So, all of you who are interested in computer science, uh, who are interested in studying computer science, you're on the right track. It's a great choice. Now, the next question is, do I have to go to America to study computer science? Is that the best place? It is one of the best places. It is one of the best destinations to study computer science. A lot of top universities from Stanford to Berkeley to Caltech uh, to MIT, to UPenn, to Georgia Tech, or Carnegie Mellon, they all are in America. But there are many other countries other than America where actually you can pursue your career, pursue your academics in computer science from Canada to Australia. And today we have our expert counselor, Nishan Jha, who will be sharing about different countries, the process of getting into those countries, uh, and what you need to do from now on before you go to the college uh, to study computer science. I am very excited to welcome Aryan Shetty. Uh, Aryan is uh, one of our students at Brighter Prep who goes to, uh, or I would say who went to, uh, the Gems Modern Academy in Dubai. Brilliant student with a lot of clarity of ideas who is about to begin his journey, uh, his academics, uh, at the University of California, Berkeley, uh, and he will be uh, majoring in uh, computer science so far. Um, he might change his mind after he goes to university or he might just get into dual major. So we will pick uh, his brain on what all he did uh, to be able to get into one of uh, the top universities. At the same time, we also have Varun Ayer. Uh, Varun Ayer is one of my colleagues who is an expert in sending students to top universities across Europe. Um, he will be giving us insights uh, about different countries, including Germany, which is actually one of the hot destinations these days. So I'm really looking forward to uh, having a great session today. Before I ask questions to our experts and Aryan, um, I'm gonna just quickly share about who we are. So we are the brighter group of companies. Uh, at Brighter Group of Companies, we normally offer four major services. So if you wanna prepare for the, um, I would say, very interesting, sometimes dangerous, sometimes uh, students are worried about these tests like the SAT, ACT, SAT subject tests, APs, advanced placements, 
Uh, we help you prepare for these tests under our brand name called Brighter Prep. Uh, we also help candidates prepare for uh, their A-level exams, IB exams under our high school tutoring brand called Ignite. We also help you uh, sail through the entire process of getting into a top university under Brighter Admissions. So starting with the selection of right colleges to writing your essays, your uh, personal statements, what to write in your profile, that comes under Brighter Admissions. And go to university uh, is our portal where you can get information about over half a million courses, <laughs> about thousands of universities. So please do visit go to university.com. It's a website which can offer you information about different courses, different universities across the world. So let's begin the insightful session about where to study computer science. So before I actually move to Nishan, I'm going to go to Aryan Shetty. So Aryan, okay, you know what, Aryan? I'm not very good at math. I'm not a techie. Why do you want to study computer science? Right, so I, I honestly, for me, it was like, I've loved computer science since eighth grade. Uh, for me, it was the coding aspect of computer science. So I, I was really into Java, Python, all these kind of code languages. And basically, these kind of languages sometimes require logic. I felt I required, I had a certain amount of logic in me. Uh, but once again, computer science is not just linked to coding. It is linked to so many different fields, cybersecurity, networking, computer hardware. This, most people think computer, computer software is basically just coding, right? But computer engineering, it's such, an, such a great course, uh, but it involves making the parts that are used uh, in computers, laptops, so and all other electronic devices. Uh, even so far, computer science is not just a basic concept. You know what I mean? Like uh, some people think it's just coding, writing codes uh, to make uh, generate certain outputs. But for me, I would say sub there are certain subfields like ethical hacking. That's that's a really a uh, major in industry in the world. Uh, and if you if you can train yourself rather, uh, you can actually become go really far in life uh, and that is if you put the required amount of effort and all uh, again once again there is so many fields micro architecture data science data science is another major <coughs> major part of computers uh, and it's it deals in more of information not much mm -hmm. more. yeah and i would uh, i would certainly say that you know if, if you're looking for computer science i would say look into three major fields one is computer or software computer hardware, that's engineering, and uh, three data science, because these, these three are really going to be helpful in the future, as, as Varun said. Uh, very so, good. Yeah. Thanks, Arun. I think you took some uh, very interesting, uh, you know, words like cybersecurity to data science, and you also brought up an interesting topic, which is computer science versus computer engineering. So I'm going to let our expert Nishant take on from now on and talk about all these things. Nishant, over to you. Thank you, Varun. Thank you, Aryan. So, uh, computers are everywhere. Uh, we just might not see them. So, what do I mean to say that? Uh, let's say it's a lockdown period, right? We are all under lockdown, but it's just because of computer that we are connected with each other, right? So, so that's the beauty of computer science. Uh, computer science, it's so deeply embedded in our daily lives that we can't imagine a world without computers, without computing. And it doesn't end here, right? So computer science can be found in almost every professions that we know today. Even an economist, they use deep learning models to financial data. For, for example, the other example would be artists. They work with uh, digital images. Even the doctors, they use artificial intelligence today to diagnose and, and uh, to cure the patients. So computer science is, is something uh, which is everywhere. Uh, uh, we, we have it you know, in the form of our smartphones or smart TVs. Even we, when we go out, we have smart transportation today. We have smart cars today. So everything, everything is a result of computer science. And the other thing is, uh, uh, because of this, computer science has resulted in so many career options, okay? According to one of the surveys done with the uh, Fortune 500 companies, by 2026, there will be 13% increase in, in computer science-related jobs. Not only this, uh, a computer science is going to remain as one of the best-paying jobs in the coming future, 
okay and and this data is it comes directly from the fortune 500 companies so looking at the careers so there are so many careers that you can pursue after after doing your computer science so as aryan also mentioned uh, varun you also mentioned that it's not only about coding so most of the students who who wants to pursue computers or they have little idea about computers they the the first thing which comes to their mind is coding or let's say programming or let's say software development but it is much more than that right so you can work as a data scientist you can work as analyst you can work as cyber security consultant you can work as an ethical hacker um, i don't know how many of you have seen the movie avatar which was uh, which was a james cameron movie and uh, that movie was super hit in fact it was a blockbuster movie uh, on that movie there were seven uh, full sail university graduates who worked in the uh, in 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 this uh, for the project of this uh, movie and they all worked in the animation department okay so uh, even a student who is a bit of you know a creative you know and he wants to study computer science so he can use that creativity along with his hardcore skills which is computer science and he can be a game developer he can work in the animation field and he can just pursue his hobby as well so that's the beauty of computer science uh along with this computer science again uh, already varun you mentioned that it's it not restricted to only it or tech companies with computer science you can work in any field any industry you desire whether it's automobile company where they require a lot of robotics or or ai specialist you can work with the big four consulting firms like pwc or kpmg they all recruit mostly computer science as analyst or senior analyst uh, uh mr joseph can i can i request you to just mute your okay hello all right yeah so okay so uh and then and there are tech companies of course tech companies like microsoft or google or apple they all require computer scientists or 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 graduates even the banks so if if you are uh if you want to have a career in the field of banks or financial institutions so let me tell you that city group or or let's say a jp morgan they they want computer scientists they want them to code programs for their for their banking softwares and all so that's what so computer science is everywhere uh so uh if you want to have uh okay uh, so the other thing about computer science that most of us as again you mentioned that uh mostly we believe that computer science can be best pursued in a country like usa where there are ivy leagues like harvard or or cornell or columbia or it can be pursued in uk where there are again top university like cambridge or oxford um uh, it is correct but it's not 100% correct there are so many universities across the world in different parts of the world where you can pursue computer science where you can find a good university for example uh tu dels they are they are doing a research on the next generation sensing and computing now what is this now this research will help the private companies and the government to develop the automated uh, transportation right uh, stanford they have uh, artificial intelligence lab so and they are working on the artificial retina which can be uh, which can help the blind to see the world again so so why i'm sharing this information with you is because there are again there are so many great universities and all these universities are doing a great work in the field of computers so you have to find the right university you have to find the right university based on your choices based on your criteria and this is what we are going to help you today with uh, through this webinar thanks uh, nishant i think uh, that's fantastic uh, you know finding the right school finding the right fit is very very important uh, and you brought us brought up some interesting uh, points today that you know computer science is not going to lead you to just have a coding or a programming career and go and work with you know companies like microsoft but you can be creative and you know become a 
you know, product designer, product developer uh, as well and get into more creative field. So before we move on, uh, I want to go to Aryan once again and find out from him when he started to think about, you know, uh, you live in Dubai, when you started to think about where will I study, what main say three or four points you had in mind and how did you actually shortlist the colleges which you wanted to apply to or the locations where you applied? Right. So first of all, uh, I did a bit of research on my own. I tried to find out where are computer science prospective jobs available? Uh, where can I probably go further, learn more? Uh, and then obviously I came to Bridal Prep. They helped me a lot, Mr. Varun and Mr. Nishant. Uh, they gave me a, probably like a set of 10 universities to just give me a side of sort of thought process. So I went home, I did a bit of research in those. I found some more. Uh, and in total, I think I selected up to 10 to 12 universities in the US. And in Canada, uh, I again went through the same process. So I shortlisted US, Canada, Singapore, uh, and UK. These four were my main choices for my application. But once again, it's, it's a personal choice. Uh, I have all information is there online. You can go online, find whichever, whatever university suits your preference and apply there. So for me, uh, I was really particular about the US and Canada because I thought in these two countries, it's, it, it's really going uh, ahead. You know, um, the future of computer science can lie in these two, especially the Silicon Valley and all. Uh, so yeah, I went to Brady Prep. I chose 10 universities. Uh, and out of which there were three categories, of course, Mr. Nishant and Mr. Varun will obviously tell you about this, the reach, realistic and safety. Uh, so just, just getting to know about these kind of universities, you know, delving into what they do, finding out what are their, uh, what is the climate, the financial, uh, the budget needed, all of these points and accumulating all of these points. That's, that's how I made my final list of, uh, I think, 15 universities. Right. Yeah. So after this, you know, before we move on to each country, uh, I remember that you got into a top school in Canada, you got into a top school in the US. So you have Georgia Tech, you have admission from Berkeley, and you also got into, say, schools like University of Toronto and Waterloo. So if I leave the countries aside, US and Canada, when you were shortlisting a particular university, uh, I guess you're going to UC Berkeley to study computer science. Yeah. Can you give us those two or three factors which made you choose this university over the rest? Right, okay, so I must say this was not an easy discussion. The decision, basically, I, I phoned a lot of people. I spoke with a lot of experts. I spoke with my relatives living there. I spoke with computer graduates from both universities. And I must say, Georgia Tech, Berkeley, Toronto, Waterloo, all these universities are fantastic, absolutely. Uh, the only point where I decided that Berkeley would be my prospective university was its location. It's located in the Bay Area, it's located in the Silicon Valley. Uh, and in terms of job <clears throat> prospects, this is, this is really the area you want to get into. And I'm sure, you know, all over the world, people, people say Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley. So apart from the countries, I would say it's the job prospect. And also it's, it's actually the community because everyone uh, at Berkeley or Georgia Tech is really wanting to know more. They're not just, you know, fitting into that bubble or sphere of do do school, get get good grades, uh, and clear and get probably like a software coding job. They want to do something different. That's why I probably decided with Berkeley. Fantastic. So you see, when you want to decide the right school for yourself, you want to know more about the community you will be part of, and I think that's an important factor.